Hello and welcome to the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel. This is Colleen Beamish from Humor Bean Cards, and today I am making a fun summer card featuring the Honey Bee Stamps Lovely Layers Beach Bound Dyes and Sun Kiss Summer Sentiments and Dyes. This card is so much fun. I absolutely love that retro van theme. So without further ado, let's get into it. The van I'm creating today is going to be inspired by Barbie, which means pink. Um, so I die cut that first largest image out of pink cardstock. And as you can see here, what's really cool is that the die imprints all of the outlines of the other layers. So now I'm taking that second largest die and I'm cutting that out of white cardstock. And then this is going to cut a whole bunch of teeny tiny pieces that I'm then going to assemble on that pink background. This makes it very easy to layer everything together. And to keep things simple, I'm only using three colors of cardstock on this van. You can definitely make it a lot more colorful and try a bunch of different things with it, but I wanted to be very straightforward. Now, a lot of this video is going to be die cutting and assembling, so figuring out how everything lines up and then gluing it down. So you will see I start to kind of speed up the video here just so that things don't get too redundant. So like I said, every little piece that is cut out um, fits right onto this background because it shows you where everything goes. And even when you cut it out, it's lined up on the die where it goes on the van. So everything is pretty straightforward. Now here you can see in my hand, I'm actually holding a little piece of wax to pick up these tiny pieces. It's actually the tip of a um, like jewel pickup tool. Um, and, and the wax part broke off. So I'm just holding it with my fingers, but I do have linked down in the description, along with every other product I'm using today, all um, a jewel picker that would help you with that. So here is where I ran into a little bit of trouble. I really wanted to use this blue teal turquoise background color because it looks so good with the pink, but I only had this one A2 size piece of paper. That's all I had to work with. So I decided to die cut the van out from the center because I also wanted this to be the windshield windows um, so that the windshield windows match the background. So I made sure that my van would line up perfectly with this die and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. And you'll see at the end how I layer the van right over the gap where I cut out so it doesn't look like this situation happened at all. Um, so I really like how that worked out and it was very simple and it saves cardstock because this section of the blue cardstock would have been covered up anyway. I'm also using the blue pieces for the centers of the headlights. Um, if you're struggling with figuring out what colors to do, um, you can definitely go onto Pinterest and search like vintage van art um, because there will be a lot of options and inspiration over there and that definitely helped me picking out my colors. Now I glued the windshield windows on. Um, I'm using some Barely Arts glue, which is my favorite. Um, but I glued those on before I glued on that like white main piece, which acts as, kind of as a frame. I don't recommend doing that because it made it a little tricky to line things up, even though you do have that impression. So it wasn't too bad, um, but I would recommend putting the white piece first and then filling in the windows after. Hopefully that makes sense. Now I'm just gluing down all of these little circles um, and that's just a little bit of a tedious process. I will say I had a lot of fun piecing all of this together. I think it would be very cool to just die cut from a whole bunch of different colors and kind of mix and match um, and just have a kind of die cut and gluing day. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm loving this set so far. Since you probably get the gist of the gluing and everything, I will go ahead and skip ahead. Okay, I've added my front bumper, the main white piece, and now I'm adding the little logo style thing <laughs> that goes on the front. So there's a little piece that I die cut from pink, and then I'm putting that on the little white circle, and then I'll put that right onto the front of the van. Um, obviously this, is similar to the Volkswagen sign. Um, I originally thought it was a peace sign, but it's not. Um, it's kind of its own unique thing. 
but it definitely still gives that vibe and I feel like it really pulls it all together. It's just so cute. Um, and then next was the windshield wipers. So um, I die cut these out of some white cardstock. I went back and forth about doing black or white and decided to go with white. And when I first put them on there, I wasn't really vibing with it. I just didn't really like how it looked. So I kind of, I actually spent a lot of time thinking about whether I was going to put them on. Um, but for a while I set them aside and I will come back and I will end up adding them on. And then I just have the tires here, which I cut out of black cardstock. And then lastly, the little um, license plate that goes right down on the front. It would be really cute if you wanted to write a tiny message. It is very, very small, so there's not a lot of room, but it's the perfect spot for something. Um, I just left it blank. So this is um, the next step for my background. I have the Spellbinders Geo Screen Embossing Folder here, which is the perfect like retro vibe. And I'm just putting my teal background right into this embossing folder and running it through my die cutting machine. I just love adding that texture. It, it's the perfect way to add interest to a background without overdoing it or taking away from the focal point. So you'll see here when I take it out, this is actually the back and I will flip it over. You can do either side, they both look fantastic, but this is the way I'm gonna go. Um, and I could have done the backwards way because the die that I cut out of the middle is symmetrical, so it would have worked either way. So now you can see the van lines up perfectly over that hole so it looks like it never even happened. So this is all coming along really well. Um, now I'm going to glue my card front onto my card base. The card base is A2 size. It's just some heavyweight, um, heavyweight white card stock. And I have it tucked into the corner of my scoreboard because that just helps me line my card front up with the card base perfectly. Um, I feel like it's always a struggle to get it lined up, but if you use the corner of the board, it really helps. So I'm just putting some liquid glue all over the back of this card front. Um, I prefer to use liquid glue when I'm working with a textured piece of paper just because it makes everything stick a lot easier. So you'll see I just press that into the corner and it doesn't take long for this glue to dry. So just give it a minute and then it's ready to go. So now I've added foam tape to the back of the van and I'm just peeling off the release tape to stick that down. The foam tape is perfect for adding just a touch of dimension and it still allows me to cover up that hole in the background. Um, I do, I did take some time to make sure this was lined up really well because since I was trying to cover up that hole, um, I really wanted, to, wanted it to be lined up perfectly. So I took my time with that. And then once I'm all satisfied, I just press it down very well and I'm ready to move on. So this is when I decided I would put the windshield wipers on. Um, with the van on the background, I was just like, yes, I need something to break up that blue, I suppose. So I just use my tweezers um, and again, that same liquid glue to add those to the windows. Um, what's great about this glue, before I mention that it's my favorite, it's because it has this um, very small nozzle that allows you to just put a teeny tiny bit of glue. A lot of these pieces of this die set are very small. So you definitely need, um, a little bit of glue will go a long way. So you definitely need that uh, narrow nozzle to have full control over the glue because we all know how messy things can get. So this is where I got to. Um, I skipped a couple steps because this is not the final card. So I have a couple surfboards glued on top. Those are part of the die set. I had heat embossed this sentiment on some black cardstock and glued that down. And this is what I thought when I thought I was finished. Um, but then when I was editing the video, I actually realized I wasn't happy with it. So before I realized I wasn't happy with it, I added some glossy accents. Um, glossy, uh, glossy accents create kind of like, I mean, it's exactly what it says. It's glossy, a glossy finish. So I'm just adding that right over the windshield windows. Um, I should have added the windshield wipers after I did this, like glued it on top once it dried, but I didn't think that far ahead. Um, to even everything out and make sure I have all the gaps filled, I'm just using a little um, sewing pin to push the glossy accents around. And when that dries, it will dry clear and glossy. Um, right now it looks kind of cloudy, but that's just, 
that is just because it's wet. Um, I also added to the headlights as well as those little like secondary headlights. I don't know what those are called, but I just put a little dot on those secondary white circles. So again, that's just a finishing touch that you don't need to do, obviously. You could also do those um, those parts with metallic paper. That would have a very cool effect. Um, but yeah, so this is where I got to. And I thought I was all done. Um, I was okay with it. <laughs> I was okay with how it turned out. But I definitely wasn't super happy. So the next day, I actually did decide to change it up. So I ripped off the surfboards, which I never recommend ripping your card apart. But um, I really wanted to make this a card that I would be happy to send to someone. So um, what I'll do here is I will take my scissors and just cut along the edge of that paper that was sticking up. I'm not cutting the actual roof of the van, just that excess paper. And then I will actually grab my mono sand eraser and I will just kind of buff off that extra layer of paper um, because those surfboards, not all of the paper came off when I ripped it off. And this worked super well. I was actually surprised how easily it came off using that sand eraser. Now, here's the thing. The main reason I went down that path with the black cardstock with the sentiment and everything was because I didn't think I had any more of this color paper, but I found a small scrap in my stash and it was perfect and I was thrilled. So I die cut out the sentiment first, put the negative in the corner of my Misty, which allowed me to line up the stamp. And now I'm using some Versamark ink to stamp that down. And then I will go ahead and heat emboss it with white embossing powder and then I don't have to remove that black sentiment I can just glue the this new sentiment right over top because it lines up perfectly and that just makes me so much happier so next I wanted to add a sun to the top of my card um, but I didn't have a sun die so what I did was I took an arch die I cut out that mustard yellow that you see at the top of the card right now and I just cut off the excess, so I just had the rounded part lined up on the top of my card. And now I'm just using some scissors to hand cut blindly some sun rays. Um, these don't have to be perfect. I think what makes it really fun and unique is that they're not perfect. Um, it's very playful. So I kind of was trying to get a feel for what size I wanted them to be. I do have two different colors of kind of yellow-orange. Um, that I will kind of alternate between um, but yeah I just had fun with it at this point because that's what it's all about so I just kept kind of cutting them until I was happy with them so here you'll see I split it in half and then I use both halves on the card so I continued to do that um, until I was happy and then I started to glue all the pieces to that circle shape then I'll pick up the entire sun and put glue on the back to glue that down. Now you're probably thinking, huh, this should have been done before the van was adhered to the card. And that is very true. It would have been much easier if I did this as a background component to start with. It just didn't cross my mind or I just didn't think I could make it happen. Um, so that is why I'm kind of going in last minute and doing it. So. As you can see here, I'm just adding a bit of glue onto the circle and onto each of those rays of the sun. Um, this is something you could also pop up if you wanted. I just wanted the van to be the main thing popped up on the card. So I will have to finagle this a little bit behind the van. As you know, there's also foam tape behind the van, so that makes it a little tricky, but I had no problem. And then I actually do go in and I add one more piece right in the center of the sun, which you'll see in just a minute here. But I made sure to glue down all of those rays and then I will go ahead and glue down my sentiment as well. So again, just using some liquid glue and gluing that right over top that existing sentiment, the, the black and white sentiment is. Once that is all set, I will go ahead and cut off the excess of the sunbeams. And I'm just using my scissors for this. You can obviously use a paper trimmer. Um, this is just so satisfying to cut each one off one at a time. And then that nearly completes my card. 
Um, the last thing is that I made sure to go around the edges and really glue down um, the entirety of the rays so that they didn't like get stuck on things or pop up. So I just add a touch of glue where it felt like they weren't fully attached. And then off camera as a finishing touch, I added a white stitched border using a white gel pen. And that is my card for today. I'm so happy with how it turned out. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel as there's always more crafty content to share. Hope to see you again soon. Bye!